Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and a little bit of yellow. And I want to have a little glow in the sky right about here. So we'll just blend it right in, make it very, very soft. With some blue and red on the two inch brush, we can drop in the rest of the sky. I don't want it very dark, so there's not much paint on the brush. Just want a tiny little bit of blue up here. And it's not straight blue, I did add a little bit of red to it. With a clean brush, we can very lightly blend out this whole sky. I want to destroy this hard edge, and make the two colors just come right together. With the one inch brush and some of that same sky color, we can add a few trees right here at the horizon. The reason that looks darker is because I have more paint on the brush. It's the same color that I used up here. I want these trees to be very, very soft. No hard edges on these trees. Now with some light brown on the knife, we can rub in a shoreline right back here. This is far away and I don't want too much detail. Maybe there's a rock right there. Now I'm going to take the one inch brush and go through some of that sky color again. And I'm going to pull down right here. Just like that. I'm going to get some reflections in the water. Here's a little brown. There we go. Now back to the sky color again. Just kind of mix up the colors. And then we'll go lightly across. Now with some dark brown on the knife, we can add a little piece of land. Kind of sticks out like that. Maybe just a little rock. And something like that. With some brown and green on the one inch brush, we can tap in some bushes right here. I just want the dark color right now. And we'll come back and highlight. When you're done with that side, then we can jump over right here to this side. Make a few bushes and some grass. Maybe, maybe we'll turn it into both bushes and grass. But we'll just block it in nice and dark. Now with some brown and yellow and white on the two inch brush, we can paint in a big tree way back here. This one's pretty far away though, so I don't want it to be too dark. We'll just tap it right in. Think about the shape of the limbs as you're tapping. With the one inch brush and some yellow and white, we can add a little bit of highlight to this tree. Not too much though. We do want to save a lot of the dark. There we go, just like that. Now I'll load the two inch brush with some dark brown and we'll paint in another tree. And this one is about that tall. But once again, Think about your limbs as you make them. Don't just tap here and, and hope a tree is going to appear. You have to shape it and form the limbs. Make it look like a tree. Now with some yellow and green and brown, we can add a tiny bit of highlight on this tree. I don't want too much highlight on this tree. Actually, almost none at all. See, maybe it's kind of in shadow from this tree here. So not much highlight, but I do want a little. And I'm going to save most of my dark. With some blue and white on the fan brush, we can add a little waterfall back here. Maybe this is a stream. It's kind of coming from back here, just like that. And maybe it's crashing over 
some of that, some of the rocks that we put in there, just like that. There it goes. With a little bit of brown and white, we can add some highlight to these rocks, just by touching with the knife and letting it run right across. Now with the filbert brush, we'll load a little bit of dark and then take one side and pull it through light. And with that, we can make a couple of rocks right up here. That puts the highlight and the shadow on the rock at one time. Now with the knife and some white, we can add a tiny little bit of highlight on the water. I'm just rubbing it right in and really focusing on the bottom of the rocks because that kind of cleans them up some. So I'm going to do that to most of the rocks. And then occasionally I'll put one out just like that. Now back to the one inch brush and some yellow and green. And now we can highlight these bushes. I'm going to use the corner of the brush and tap and shape my bushes. I want all that dark at the bottom there. That's what gives your painting depth and contrast and makes it more interesting. If you cover up all that dark, it's going to look very flat. With some brown and black on the knife, we can drop in a big tree right up here. I want this tree very dark, and we'll come back and highlight in just a second. With some brown and white, we can highlight our trees just by tapping with, that, with the knife. And our light source is right here, so the highlight's going to be on the right side of the tree. Let it get dark as it comes around. With the script liner, we can add some limbs to this tree. Just paint them right in. Now before I started, I had some contact paper on here, cut out in an oval. And so now we can take that off. See, it peels right off. And then we have a great, neat little oval shape. Sometimes when you're doing ovals, it's fun to take the tree and extend it right out of the oval, maybe off the canvas. We'll do the same to this one right here. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did, too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my new DVD for beginners. I'll put those links below. And thanks for watching.